Hey everybody, thank you for coming to the Wednesday night unity group and if you were among the people that didn't come but had expressed an interest in that group, I just wanted to say hi and follow up. This is Sean Mashey and I'm out on the pier at my house, a light landing retreat uh, spot where some of you may be coming one of these days for a group or retreat or meet up uh, for event. Anyway, I wanted to follow up because I sent out the Beyond Mindfulness map to you, as I said I would last night, and I just want to make sure everybody got it. So it's helpful whether you got it or not. I would love it if you would reply to this email. You can just say hi. You can ask any questions you had at the group. You can let me know you're coming next time even if you didn't come last time and um, by just writing to me in any way shape or form you will then be telling your email provider that you want to receive the messages from me i'll be sending out just a few things as we go through this group to support you to support you in being your sparkly self <laughs> you are just energy and when you learn to be able to bounce and flow and sparkle and not tense up and react and resist, you become much like this. So anyway, it's kind of just a really fun way to live and a real way to live, a way to seamlessly reconnect, unconditionally connect to yourself, others, and life exactly as they show up. So it's really important to, um, to understand how simple all of this is too. So for example, this week, all your assignment really is, is just there are three things. The big one is starting to become very aware of the thoughts that are going through your head and noticing how it's possible that it's not the other person or the situation that is triggering you. It's what you're believing about that. So start to write down the one-liners. I need them to. She is. I want it to. They are. Whatever that is, start to become mindful of that. And then the Beyond Mindfulness map also helps you tune in, ideally early in the morning when it's quiet and you can observe your thinking and feeling. And then even, you know, sort of start to track it. It'd be helpful if you want to print out that little mindfulness map and draw the places where things show up in your body. But even if you don't do that, just becoming mindful and becoming um, aware and writing it down for yourself is, is what I want you to focus on this week. Of course, many of you have already done a lot of mindfulness work but now we're gonna go beyond mindfulness. And that's where I want you to, also, if you get a chance, practice that judge your neighbor worksheet again. So the second video that's coming out to you is just a little, or, or email that's coming out to you, has a little video that walks you through doing the judge your neighbor worksheet again. And I understand you have busy lives. If you don't get time to do that, maybe just pull out that worksheet um, that I gave you or downloaded off the hub, the Judge Your Neighbor Worksheet. Hold yourself in a very specific time and location when you felt an emotional charge and just let your mind talk. I'm upset with blank because they, I want them to, they should, I need them to, they are. You can judge yourself, but that's more what we'll work on more toward the end of this um, time. Right now, I want you to try to find a judgment of something or someone else. And then the third part, if you get a chance, is to take a one-liner and work through it on the One Belief at a Time worksheet. So this really is just walking you through the work, the work of Byron Katie, and the four questions and the turnarounds are right there on that sheet. And it just makes it easy if you fill it in on there or use those questions and write it out on another sheet. Like I said, it'd be great if you even got a separate notebook to hold you in this work. And if you don't have a whole Judge Your Neighbor worksheet, you can even just take a one-liner. I want them to, they should, I need them to. 
And in fact, when you do this one belief at a time worksheet for yourself, if you take one of the one-liners off your judge your neighbor worksheet, I would prefer that you work with um, numbers two, three, or four, which is I want them to, they should, I need them to. And that becomes um, a real simple way to turn it around. It's a little different when you do question one or uh, five or six, and I'll show you that next time. So just be sure to let me know if you didn't get the emails with the Beyond Mindfulness map and the one coming either later today or tomorrow that has a little video walking you through the Judge Your Neighbor worksheet. Um, write to me with any questions. Fill out another Judge Your Neighbor worksheet if you can and observe the thoughts and feelings in your body. And then if you want to try walking yourself through the four questions and turning it around before next week, I'll be showing you how next week, but if you've already tried it for yourself, I'm sure you'll get the most out of it that way. Love you guys. Thank you. Take care. See you soon. Reach out if you have questions or feel stuck or can't make it next week. All right. Bye-bye.